Hello there everybody and welcome to a third generation battle, this time against the Game Dreamer. Um, this time we are doing OU, it's been a while. Um, this right there is my team, it's been so long since we've played Gen 3 OU, but... Yeah, that's, uh, that's how it goes. Dreamer wanted to see my trainer card, this... this... Things, whatever, <laughs> let's get this battle started. Uh, he's gonna lead with his Raigeki and I'm gonna lead with Swampert, it's perfect lead for me. Um, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for earthquake. Um, by the way, I'm using fire red. He's using sapphire. This time we're not using emerald because we used emerald too much. And um, it's another method that we use to connect. It's not the typical VBA link. It's something you can use only with people that you trust. So I don't. I don't recommend you guys to do it. But there you have it. Powerful earthquake. That's gonna hit the star me big time. Uh, I'm expecting him to switch out, so I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. I could have also went for Hydro Pump, but I was like, oh, I don't want to miss. <laughs> I just don't want to miss. I'm just expecting, basically I'm expecting a Flying type to come in. That's why I went for Ice Beam. And most of the times, that's gonna be super effective, so... Because I just don't see him staying in with his Starmie to take another Earthquake at this point, so... He ended up switching out, and he went into his Skarmory. Um, he took it really well, I'm assuming it's specially defensive. And uh, I'm thinking about going into my Zapdos, and I'm also thinking about going into my own Starmie, which I ended up going for, because he could also do that. He could set up spikes. And nobody likes spikes, so I'm just gonna try to rapid spin them out of the face of everybody, because nobody likes spikes. There you have it. There's something worse called Stealth Rocks in the future gens, but nobody likes spikes anyways. So there's a rapid spin. Raikou's gonna come in again. And I can't stay in really, but um, I don't want this thing to have a free call mind or a free substitute. Mostly substitutes, because Raikou behind the substitutes can be an issue. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna stay in and go for Hydro Pump. And whatever happens, happens. And he ended up going for substitutes, so I actually predicted that well. So... There you have it. That's gonna end up breaking the sub. So now I'm predicting him not to go for another substitute. And uh, I'm actually gonna go... I'm actually gonna switch out. I decided to go into my Metagross. Because Metagross can take whatever and it's banded. Can hit... Can hit anything because it's banded. Anything is gonna get hurt, but... Never mind, I went into my Swampert. And he actually went for another substitute. So that's... Uh, that was surprising to me. This is what I did. I went into Swampers and then I switched into my Metagross because I didn't trust this thing not to have Hidden Power. The question was, is it Hidden Power Ice or Hidden Power Grass? And that Thunderbolt did way too much damage, so luckily, luckily I took it, but again, I'm banded, I'm not gonna be recovering from my leftovers. Another Thunderbolt could actually take me out, so I kinda just don't wanna risk it, so I'm actually gonna go into my Zapdos. So... Yeah, I did a lot of switches, especially the one from Swampert to Metagross, that was weird, but it happens, it happens. I haven't played 3rd gen OU in so long, and the rust. I don't care, I just play for fun at this point, it's like, who even plays seriously in 2022? Who cares? It's just a game. And there's also something that I just want to address, like... You've probably been noticing since like 2018, maybe 2017, until now. I've been only battling the same guys over and over and over again. That has an answer, okay? That has an answer. But from now on, we have a Flygon that is gonna come in as soon as we switch into Zapdos. So that's really bad because I don't have Heaven Power Ice on this Zapdos. So I'm, I'm just gonna go into Swampert because I know Swampert can take physical hits well. I'm assuming this Flygon is totally physical, so whatever. I could Ice Beam, but I'm expecting him to, to switch again, so that's why I'm gonna go into my Zapdos predicting his Skarmory. So there you have it, good prediction. Anyways, um, what I was saying is like, whenever I try to battle someone new, he either like gets angry when he loses, like he tries to disconnect on you or starts saying some random stuff like oh my god you have leftovers on all your Pokemon, bro it's part of the rules of course I have leftovers on all my Pokemon. Um, 
people disconnect because for some reason, I don't know, they they know that I upload videos on YouTube. Maybe they just don't want to lose on YouTube. Like, I lose all the time. What is wrong with losing? What matters is like, you just play, have fun. This game is based on hacks and RNG. Like, there's something that you just cannot control. I, I just don't understand. Like, and I just, most of the times... A lot of people need help, like setting up the emulator and stuff, and I'm a busy person, okay? I always, like, as soon as somebody asks me, I always tell you, just check out Diego's channel, the AGSS, he has all the tutorials for first and second gen, and for third generation, there is that tutorial made by Astar the third, I believe, back in 2015 or something, that, that one's perfect, it also shows you the trick to actually speed up the button, the, the button, to speed up the, the lag from the emulator, so that's actually perfect. But anyways, whatever. Back to the battle. Zapdos, I'm gonna poison the Blissey. Uh, he's gonna Ice Beam as I switch into Swampert. Ice Beam Blissey, that's... I don't know. I know he's not Serene Grace. If he's Serene Grace, I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, he's gonna switch into Skarmory. I predicted the switch, I went for Hydro Pump. I knew like a Flying type was gonna come in, so Hydro Pump, my strongest move was gonna do decent a decent amount to the Skarmory anyways, so... Uh, then I'm gonna go back into Starmie in case he goes for spikes again, so I could rapid spin them. And uh, apparently when I was checking my team, the Starmie apparently doesn't have a um, natural cure. I made a mistake while making the team, which is gonna cost me a little bit later, but... It's whatever, as I said, it's, it's whatever, as I said. What matters is just play the game, have fun. Don't get angry when you lose, it's just a game, your life doesn't depend on this. Just enjoy your life, enjoy your time, don't be stupid, don't be a moron. That's that's all I have to say, like, please, for God's sake. You see me overreacting on my videos a lot, but so it's, it's... I'm just trying to be entertaining, okay? Like, just relax, <laughs> but whatever. I... I'm a busy person as of late. I... I just cannot... Cannot be... Wasting time battling and then some random guy has 252 EVs in all his stats Like uh, th Those are the worst. Okay, those are the worst forget the disconnectors. Those guys are the absolute worst but Whatever in comes Blissey against my Swampers. I'm assuming Skarmory is gonna come in and this is when I notice that my Starmie doesn't have natural cure I'm like, oh no, this is bad, but yeah, a lot of switches are happening, a lot of mind games, because Gen 3 OU, that's, that's good. I just love using Fire Red, by the way. I'm a Kanto guy. I love Kanto. Kanto and Johto are my thing. Hydro Pump is gonna hit the Raikou in the face. It's gonna do a lot of damage. This is a speed tie, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure if my Starmie actually has max speed, so I'm gonna switch into Swampert. And no moments of truth, I actually am gonna risk. I wanna see if he, ha if he does have hidden power ice or grass. If it's grass, I know I can take it barely, but I'm also scared of a crit because I'm battling the game dreamer and the game dreamer, you know, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, he ended up going back into his Skarmory and he avoided my Hydro Bomb. That's just bad. So I just have to go back into Starmie again in case he goes for spikes and he's gonna whirlwind me into my threat, into my sweeper, into my Salamence. This is actually the first time I'm actually using a, a special Salamence. Well, it's special but it does have Brick Break for Blissey. You only need, you always need Brick Break for Blissey. Uh, you need Fire Blast and you need Hidden Power Grass. Sometimes you might want to replace something with Hydro Pump. But I was like, <laughs> Hydro Pump, I don't want Hydro Pump. It might be a good option, but I don't want it, okay? So I'm just gonna go for Dragon Claw. Because I just know that he's not gonna stay in. Or maybe he will stay in. Maybe he's not gonna expect me to be a, a special Salamence. Maybe he'll expect me to be like a DD set or a Choice Bandit set. Because I always use cho Choice Bandit. But luckily, he didn't. And he switched into his uh, Starmie, which is gonna drop to the Dragon Claw. And this is a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a speed side that I don't want to risk at this point. He's gonna go for Rock Slide. It's not gonna do much to, to Swampert. I had no reason to, to risk it since I still have my Swampert. I'm gonna go for the safe Ice Beam. He's gonna substitute. That's gonna break the substitute. And uh, I'm looking good here. And guys, again, as I was saying, 
if you are wanting to challenge me just I'm not taking challenges at this point I just can't again I'm a busy person I love all of you guys I appreciate your views I appreciate the fact that you love what I am providing to you there's the hidden power grass as I said luckily I survived it and I'm gonna take down the Raikou but yeah at this very moment I'm not looking for battles like maybe when I have more time in my hand maybe I can handle some people that don't know what they're doing when it comes to EVs or disconnecting you like at this moment when you don't have time and you barely can battle and have wasted a long time battling someone and he disconnects it right in your face at the right at the last turn I just can't handle that stuff so I'm so sorry okay um, if you want to know how to do these battles I already tell you the AGWS A star the third our discord group has all the links and informations and links so feel free to join of course let's make yourself at home but that's how it is fire blast expecting the switch but he stayed in rock slide after the intimidates it's gonna do less than half and uh, I'm gonna risk the speed tie because I don't care anymore Salamis are you a man yes you are there's the dragon claw dragon claw and that's gonna finish off the flygon I know a lot of people love third gen but there you have it. There's the Metagross. I really want to damage this thing because looking at my team, this thing's going to be a threat. So I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can with Fire Blast, maybe even take him out. But I'm going to miss. And the Rock Slide is going to absolutely murder my life, which tells me that that thing is totally banded. So that's bad. And my Snorlax actually has Shadow Ball. He doesn't have Earthquake. He has Shadow Ball. Maybe I should have given it Shadow Ball. Like the proper Gen 1 and Gen 2 set instead of instead of acting like like some guy born in the 2000s Like using some third gen sets like who even uses third gen sets? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry <laughs> There's the Thunderbolts, but of course he still has this Blissey and that's not gonna do anything My man is using Skarmless man. Skarmless just What do you expect? The battle is gonna take ages like in real life real life time this battle actually took over an hour you're just seeing the speed up version because when you see Skarmless and a lot of man mind games plus the game dreamer is actually a very skillful battler and um, yeah so he paralyzed my Snorlax I went back into Starmie, Starmie sorry and yeah I went to st into Starmie predicting his switch either into Skarmory or Metagross and right now I'm assuming that he will go back to Blissey because Blissey completely stops the Starmie especially after being poisoned and I'm gonna miss my Hydro Pump once again Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, all those moves like they they just don't like me like I don't even know why I actually use them it's just it's a joke so I stayed in in case he did something weird but he didn't he went for Ice Beam that's crazy like Ice Beam Blissey that still blows my mind maybe it's a regular move on Blissey for third gen but I just don't remember anymore so in comes Snorlax he's gonna soft boiled of course like the typical blissey i'm gonna curse expecting him to switch out but i got fully paralyzed but that wasn't gonna do anything to skarmory anyways <laughs> dealing with skarm bliss is so much fun he's gonna have spikes i have star me but i was like okay he's probably gonna expect me to rapid spin let's thunderbolts he did and that did absolutely nothing i paralyzed him maybe we have a chance to beat skarm bliss right let's see how this goes um, I was thinking of rapid spinning, but I was like, okay, let's let's keep Thunderbolts in. He stayed in, and I got a crit. Okay, okay, he has Metagross and Blissey left. So let's see how this goes. The only painful Pokemon to deal with is his Metagross, and I'm like, what can Metagross do? Meteor Mash. I think I can take it at the range of HP my Metagross is at. So let's do it. There's my Metagross, but I'm really low in health. What am I doing, man? Oh my god. That was a complete misplay on my part, so... Uh, I know he's banded. I'm gonna go into Zapdos. I'm gonna go for Toxic, expecting the... The Blissey to come back in. Oh man, if only I used the banded set for Zapdos. You know there is a banded set for Zapdos in 3rd gen. And I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. But, whatever. So, I'm gonna try to go into my Snorlax and start setting up some curses. If I set up some curses, I can deal with both his Blissey and his Metagross at the same time. 
So he's gonna switch right away into his Metagross, but I got fully paralyzed. That's to be expected. That's actually to be expected. Like I, it doesn't even surprise me one bit. So I'm hoping that he will explode, but he didn't explode. If only he exploded. He instead of exploding, he went. He got the attack raise. That's gonna be brutal. Imagine choice banded Metagross that never misses Meteor Mash. Plus, he gets an attack raise. That's absolutely insane, but he switched out for some reason. He could have murdered my life, but that silly RNG boost that he got. But he switched back into Blissey. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try take the opportunity to to rapid spin. He goes for Flamethrower. What kind of Blissey is this? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm finally gonna drop to the poison. And now, I'm gonna go into Snorlax and hopefully set up some curses. And I can finally do what I wanted to do. So there's the first curse. And let's hope for the best. Come on Snorlax, we believe in you. Uh, I was thinking of going for a second curse. Uh, but then I was like, I'm gonna rest. I wanna get rid of that paralysis. But he got another attack raise. Not, He's not missing his mirror mashes. And he's getting his attack raises. So plus one curse did absolutely nothing. Look at all that damage that I did. That he did. So at this time, I was like, okay, this is pretty much over, so... Yeah. Especially because he's not missing, that's... That's just insane. And he got a crit. I don't know what to say, man, like, that's RNG. If I was certain people, I would have disconnected and I was like, Oh, this game sucks, oh, I don't wanna be seen on YouTube losing, well... I... I don't even know. Good game, Dreamer. I hope you... I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys had fun, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, okay? I love you all, stay tuned for more, and allons -y.